So we are back in stunning Farra San Martino. And today I have got a bargain property that is in an incredible location. Just wait, just wait while you see this one. So we've done a number of videos in this amazing town. I've also done a visit inside this church on one of the earlier earlier videos. This is the uh, the main little piazza in uh, Faro San Martino, famous for Di Cecco Pasta, which the company is based down in the valley and there's, uh, there's beautiful picnic areas and walks into the mountain. It's just incredible. Look how amazing. The mountain range is here. Stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. So the town pretty much has all the facilities that you need. Uh, and there's bed and breakfasts. There's a couple of restaurants, a couple of bars, cafe bars, including one here. News agent, a bit of everything. It's a great town. There is a little bit of public transport to take you to nearby Casali. Lama di Peligne, heading up into the mountains and from Casali you can get to Lanciano and other places but I think I would I would uh, always have my own transport in these uh, in these towns definitely um, because there's just so much to see and so much to explore so the property today amazing let's start heading down there because I just want to do a little little tour of the old, old part of Faro San Martino where the house is and I'm going to head down these stairs and we'll pick up from the bottom of these changed my mind and decided to do the stairs with you why not? let's go down to, you can drive down to this other piazza and there's parking um, in front of the council building these streets are amazing aren't they? they're so so beautiful there's a great bar and yogateria just here called Hansel and Gretel let's head down to this piazza and this is a really important piazza I can't get my words out piazza uh, there's a small market that comes to Faro San Martino and uh, it is set up in this area and the importance of this is this building that is straight ahead of us because this was the original old town of Faro San Martino so everywhere I've just been didn't exist before there was just this section and I'm going to show you in there in a second because it is incredible uh, so it just existed that and then obviously the church at the top and then as the towns expanded over the over the centuries it's uh it's all changed so here we have there's actually parking there's always a truck isn't there annoying me <laughs> there's actually parking and this guy's going to park exactly where i want to film shortly anyway there's actually parking underneath here believe it or not you can actually rent a space uh, on a yearly basis if needs be but there's also parking just around this corner uh, there's a, a great restaurant pizzeria sort of through there and on the councils around this way uh, and as I said that this is the original old town and this church here back of this church goes back to 1044 1044 can you believe that I'm going to show you in here in a second and the property that we're going to see is this these two floors here you actually get to it round the side these and this is a oh, such a bargain this property such a bargain and here they usually have the stage for the festas it's a great great location two nice balconies oh, I can't wait to show you and the views from the other side as well are just amazing so just wait be don't be impatient let me show you the old town first. Look how beautiful this is. Oops, I nearly fell up the stairs. <laughs> the 
look at the the painting from 1810 22nd of can't read what that says maybe June not sure 1810 lovely so you can see the property from this side so it's these four windows in the front and those four windows at the side and you're getting around the other side and I think it's also a lower a lower floor as well can't remember now but there you go we'll see when we go in <laughs> what an amazing location oh honestly I did not wait for that <laughs> let's listen to the atmosphere Is that the quietest I've been? And this is the beautiful stone of this area, the Myla stone. Beautiful colour, isn't it? So sometimes when you see buildings like this, you just need to take off this plaster and it reveals this amazing stone. Don't you find it incredible when you see signs like this? Ten forty-four. Ten foot. Can you <laughs> can you comprehend that? It is a very simple church. Very. Let's have a little look inside. It's tiny. Frescoes. And this was the entrance of the town. And I'll say it again, 1044, before the Battle of Hastings. How amazing. How amazing. I probably should save some of this for my town tours that I know I've promised that I'm going to be doing, but I will be doing them over winter time to show off some of these great areas. But let's have a look. I don't know why I'm still whispering. I'm outside now. Let's have a look. This is Terra Vecchia. Old lands. Amazing. These little vicos, as they say. And you can see the town ends just there. That's the original town ended just here. And it's same on the left hand side. No cars down here. I'll show you further down. There's a viewpoint further down. I just love walking through a place like this. In the summertime, they have wine tasting in this and they have candles all over and oh, the atmosphere is amazing. Look at these little, let's have a little look down here. I cannot begin to tell you how relaxed I feel when I'm walking in places like this. Forget your tourist traps, this is what we want. Look at this. How incredible. How incredible. And the view from some of the windows in the house is this. Am I excited? Oh yes. Big style. <laughs> And you can see how I'm, I'm obviously raised up now. So this was, this was the old town. It was, it was this. And then as time's gone on, it's, it's spread out. But oh, always looking over the mother, or being looked over by the mother mountain, the Maella mountain. Amazing. Amazing. Let's carry on. Just show you a little bit more down here, and then we'll go and see the house. Beautiful stonework. A lot of people are, have revealed the stone because these these historical centres are so important, so important that we keep them and look after them. And it's the heartbeat of every town. And I just love the untouched. I know some people say, "Oh, it'd be nice if there were some restaurants and blah." But yeah, that is nice. But the the best restaurants are out of the 
usually out of towns, in the countryside or hid away. We don't need to have restaurants and, and gift shops. And I don't think we do anyway. We need to see the real, the real Italy, in my opinion. And I am opinionated, have you noticed? So this is it, this is the end. Oh, the end is down, down here. A few little benches for you just to come, sit down and just drift away. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? What a unique town Farrah is. And you may think that we're stuck right in the mountains, but we're not. We're 300 and odd meters and you can be on, sat on the beach in, in 40 minutes. Or you can be in the ski resorts in probably the same, half an hour, 40 minutes. And this is the top part of Duceco Pasta that goes into the valley. It doesn't spoil any of our views, but it's so important to have these places. And down here is, is what they call the Green River. That I've done videos of that before, where there's picnic areas and it's where the mountain, that where the, the, the waters channel from the mountains and into the pasta factory. And then in this crack of the mountain here is the Gol di San Martino, where I will definitely do that on a town visit, um, where you, walk, you can actually touch either side of the mountain and walk through a natural corridor of about 30 meters or so, and it opens out and you can see the ruins of the old monastery, again from a thousand, year, a thousand years, a thousand years. Beautiful stone buildings. Are you excited? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go and see this bargain, bargain, amazing, stunning property. Let's do it. So we're back outside the beautiful historical centre. Are you ready? Let's go and have a look at this one. So excited. Can you tell him my voice? So we just need to come to this, basically where the doors open here. So it sort of goes in there, at the back of this building, and then up. How beautiful, how stunning is that? Okay. So, are you ready? Are you ready to do it? Let's go for it. Okay, so the front door is protected by these gold ones, which is good because it keeps the original doors looking well. And then we go into the living, kitchen, dining area. Now, at the moment it's two beds and one bath. There's certainly room for another bath. And if you wanted, then one of the bedrooms could also be a lounge and then used as a bedroom if needs be. It'll all make sense once I start going round. When you see little alcoves like this, it's usually because they were probably connected to next door at one point and then properties get split off over time. But this is a great size living kitchen dining area. These are, I don't know what, it is just like a marble. Uh, effect so it does look it, it looked like lino when I first came in but it's definitely not but this is a, a, a great size living kitchen diner and obviously it's been 1980 but there are stone there is stone behind these walls so if you wanted to reveal that you could do the great thing with this house is it's completely habitable as you'll see when we go around but there's room for improvement I think the kitchen is, is data that could do with changing, to be honest with you, um, the kitchen. But um, but everything else is in great condition, as you'll see when we go when we go around. So great size room. I'm not sure if I'd have that there or just keep the kitchen here, maybe. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. And I'm going to show you the views out of the window behind me as we move around because the views are amazing. Okay, so this room, just to give you an idea, with my, with my new little measure, is at its widest, it is 544 by, let's do this, let's go in this direction, 544 by, error, thanks for that, 
Okay. I know people are going to be writing to say, why not do this before? Here we go. 484. So it's a great size. Obviously, it does get a little bit narrower as you come in. And then we also have a storage room, which is really handy. It goes down a few steps. And quite a decent size storage room, to be fair. Probably get a bike in there as well. And the door's just trapped on my hand. Uh, boiler, it's a Junkers boiler. So uh, it does look a, a, an older one, but it's certainly not really old. So I would say, I mean, obviously somebody lives here, so it's all working. Uh, it's, uh, and Junkers is a, a good make as well. So probably no need to change that uh, yet. Okay. Let's start heading round to the other room. So it's a great, this is a great size. I think to reveal some stone, I think possibly on this wall I would reveal some nice stone and just make a bit of a feature of that wall, in my opinion. Leave the kitchen where it is, I'd leave everything where it is and have it as a bit of a living room as well. But as you'll see when we move round, the next room could be a living room uh, that could make up as a second bedroom when you need it. The stairs, the windows as well, I must say, they are, there's fly screens on here. Can't see the view out of there properly because the fly screens are closed down, but the windows in great condition. And they have shutters, I don't know if they all have shutters, we'll see on the way around. This person is a, a cat lover, so you're gonna see, I think most of the cats have legged it, but uh, you, may, you may see a few cat toys and cat litter and things like that. So stairs, marble stairs, a little bit steep but there's not many of them and we head up to what could be the night area what's this oh, just a bit of extra storage so this next room could be a lounge that doubles up as a bedroom or you keep it as a bedroom and this is when it gets really interesting look how lovely and Lovely, I never say lovely. How beautiful and light this is. The original floors, so we've gone from sort of the marble style into this. This is the reeds are really traditional, and again, the windows great condition. Now, these don't have shutters on the inside, but they have the, the pull down screens, which are in fantastic condition. Look at the view, look at the view. Amazing. So the windows double glazed. Don't know why I knock on them. It's just, you just have to, don't you? And then these these are new as well. So when you're not here for long periods of time, as you can see, there's holes in these. All you do is leave a couple of windows open and close these. It's the best thing to do. It keeps air running around, and it's still it's good for the house. So great size, great size bedroom. Let's do the measurements so we get that out of the way. Uh, so we have, let me see, we have, here we go. Three meters 40 by at this side, uh, here we go. Four meters 76, great size. And then again, look at the windows, brilliant condition. And look what you're overlooking. Does it get better than that? Now these gates are open at the bottom, but there's not, they're only at limited times when people can come in or it's uh, people have the keys for them that live close by where you can drop things off, but then they have to leave. It's not somewhere where you're gonna get a car park below you that's not not uh, not allowed here that's why they've got the gates at the bottom and there's parking round there uh, and in different parts of the town and this is where the market will come and when they have festas the huge stage is set up here um, so you'll be backstage but what a great view that is double aspect windows well not double aspect but double two lots of double doors and the biggest fly in the world has flown in. <laughs> I think that needs an extra set of wings. 
Great size room. I don't think this is stone. Imagine it's just reasonably thick. I'm not sure. Maybe stone. Downstairs definitely is. I'm not sure about this. But what a fabulous size. Lots of light coming through here. Absolutely amazing. Can you hear my telephone ringing downstairs? Sorry about that. <laughs> so all the electrics. The electrics are fairly new. They seem to have got all new sockets. or reasonably new. And then we have a bathroom on this floor as well with the washing machine and dryer. Now I don't think this is all being sold as is. I think the person's taking the furniture because they live here and obviously they're going to be going to their new house. But great size. Upstairs we have a replica of this. We have another room like this and another room with nothing in it that's directly above. So it would be easy to put a bathroom upstairs if you wanted to. Obviously you'd have to dig through the walls and things like that, but it would be fairly easy to do that. So the shower, our new way of measuring a shower is to get in it. Quite a decent sized shower. <laughs> I better not get in this one because somebody's living in there, but two of you are getting there. I'm sure of that. <laughs> and then it's a, it's a bathroom with a view I'm not sure if you could keep this view keep this window like this maybe you'd have to pull the, the shutters down when you're in here or just add some frosting to the glass but look at the view again stunning or what stunning stunning great size great size bathroom do you want me to measure it? I suppose I should do it. I don't think I've measured a bathroom before. I don't know why. Um, let me just do this. So this is just two meters by. Uh, two meters by, two meters 33. Great size. The, the rooms upstairs are gonna be a similar size. I think the one above this one is just a little bit bigger. Okay, let's head on. Here's the radiators that obviously use the town gas. This is in such good condition. The price is just unbelievable. And this, sorry, I mentioned before that this could potentially be a lounge. You could just put a sofa bed in here. So if you're coming out just, just you, then just use it as a one bed. And when you need it as a two bed, have it as a two bed. This would be a beautiful lounge area. So, but it is two beds, but you do have that flexibility. Let's head up in the stairs. Maybe you could do with some wrought iron just to close this off, just sort of single wrought iron bars. But it's not, not a major thing to get things like that. And again, maybe here as well, just to finish this last, last bit off. Okay, the roof is in good condition because you can actually get underneath it. I've looked up there and it all looks all looks good. So, apologies, my video just cut off. So yeah, we've got a, a replica of downstairs. So another amazing size room. This may be slightly bigger than downstairs because the walls are usually thinner as you go up. Let's have a let's have a quick look. See what uh, see what these are. So this is four meters eighty. Yeah, it's pretty much same as as uh, as downstairs. By. Uh, that says one meter 39, it's certainly not that. Look, 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 three meters 50. And again, all the windows in fantastic condition. Look how light this place is and there's no light on in the room and it's, uh, it's a little bit cloudy outside. So this would definitely be a bedroom, I would say. But you've got the flexibility of using downstairs as a bedroom and this is a, as a swanky lounge if you wanted to being that little bit higher up. What a great size. And again, look at the views out of this. How stunning is that? There's a lady stood out on the balcony looking at me, wondering what on earth I'm doing. <laughs> and then we have another balcony out the front. 
you will see a heater here but they've got radiators throughout but sometimes people if they just want to warm a room up a little bit they will just use standalone heaters rather than putting the gas on there you go and again those amazing views of the old town it's just fantastic isn't it this place absolutely stunning and then these balconies, you could easily sit out both of them. You could easily sit outside there, pull a little table out as well, easily. Amazing place, amazing place. What a bargain. Original floors again, or old floors, whether they're originals, I'm not so sure. And then there's another room here that if you remember downstairs is a bathroom or oh, church bells <laughs> midday we may get the full Ave Maria don't you just love Italian church bells something special and then we've got that amazing view again out the window Incredible. So this room could be either a third bed, excuse the cat litter, uh, it could either be a third bedroom if you need three. I wouldn't say it could be a double. Um, let's have a quick look. It definitely couldn't be a double. But it could certainly be a, a single, maybe if you have children or grandchildren. So it's two meters ten by, by three meters thirty. So you can definitely have a single bed. But what you could do here, because we know the bathroom's below, you could have another bathroom. And I would consider probably between five to 7,000 euros at a guesstimate to do that. And then here is storage with access under the roof. Let me just turn my camera up a little bit so you can see quite low up there but I think there's just a bit of junk up there at the moment but the roof looks in great condition the house is in incredible condition to be fair absolutely incredible condition okay what do you think folks I think it is just what a bargain what a location what a property Somebody's going to be lucky with this one. Shall we do final thoughts? Oh, listen. It's 12 o'clock. We have to listen to this. How atmospheric is that? So not just the church bells we've got. It's not Ave Maria, I'm not sure what that is, but incredible. And they're going for a second round. Amazing. Let's do final thoughts. So my final thoughts on this one, simply stunning, incredible. What a bargain property, what an incredible location. Yes, needs some updating in here. I would definitely say it needs a new kitchen. I probably didn't show you that too much before, but it is looking, uh, is looking a little bit old. And to be fair, the price of kitchens here is just worth, it's worth changing it. Uh, but for now, maybe you just give it a good clean and, and use it. But that's, that's probably the only thing that needs, that needs really doing fantastic space absolutely love the rooms as we go up as i was saying location amazing right in the center of beautiful stunning Faro san martino close to the coast close to skiing it's just as i keep saying the price of this is unbelievable amazing somebody is going to be extremely lucky and moving in to the town next to mine amazing 
Okay, folks, thank you so much for your support as usual. Keep watching the channel. Keep liking and subscribing and writing and doing everything else possible to keep this channel alive. And remember to join us every Tuesday live on YouTube and Facebook as we discuss buying a property in Italy, living in Italy, and lots of other subjects. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? Whatever you do, whatever you do, do not, do not miss this one.